Do you smell that? <laughs> Smells like some good classic RGB. And this is a $600 gaming PC that RGB streaming, practically the best thing you can get out there for streaming some Fortnite. And it's all remote controlled. I, I think it's great. I think it's absolutely great. Okay, hello guys, welcome to 2,000 subscribers. Uh, today we're gonna be building this system. Uh, we're gonna get into it, just gonna start ripping stuff apart, trying to get everything set out. And then we'll start on the motherboard. You guys will get a close up view. This will be more of a time lapse kind of video. And then we'll go through and we'll pretty much just set up everything, start building. You guys will get a full time lapse of everything. At the end, we'll do a little bit of the testing, some of the OS loading, things like that. It'll be a lot of boring stuff. But as usual, we'll get into it. So as always, let's just get it right into the unboxing and you know, I'm live streaming this right now, so it'll be really fun, but uh, let's get into it. Um, but let's get into just getting some basic stuff done. So one of the biggest things you got to start off with, especially when you're building a computer, is you've got to go through and start off with the motherboard and just put the processor in there and, um, you know, get that in there and making sure that, you know, everything fits in there. You got to get the RAM and all that stuff in there before you seat it in the case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up. Seasons come and go like thoughts of you Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue They change but in a cycle that I can't lose 
Each painful but delightful to live through You came into my life just like a night season Not for long, just a time, just like a night season There we go, boys. There we go. So here it is. If you watched the stream today, or maybe you did watch the stream, or you didn't get to catch it, I'll be posting it after this as well, so you guys can get the full live stream of it. But this is the PC, and this is the $600 PC after we finished building it. And I will say this was one of the most, uh, I don't know, took a while. Uh, one of the biggest things I guess I found out is that don't plug the uh, I.O. Uh, into the wrong spot because there's like 12 of them on this motherboard. Uh, also, this motherboard doesn't support Mystic Sync, so I had to wire up the remote control on the USB, and I was a little upset on that. But um, basically, we still got some color, and it's all remote controlled, so I mean, you really can't argue there. And so, I mean, I'm not going to complain. Uh, I think it looks good. Uh, I got all the fans synced up and everything. Um, these Cooler Master fans are really nice. Um, yeah, this is the red uh, keyboard and mouse, but um. Yeah, it looks absolutely awesome. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. Um, games, I loaded up on a couple games. Just getting that good old, uh, some like CSGO and stuff, getting like 200 FPS. Um, PUBG is right around 60, 70 or so FPS and max settings. Everything's looking really, really good. On um, that starting to stream on that, I uh, did a little bit of a testing stream to Twitch. Uh, that did really good as well, so uh, no complaints there. Um, nice, really good looking stream. Uh, 1080p streaming quality. It was great. I still had four cores left to you know play some games out. So if you're doing Fortnite or something, this is like practically the perfect PC for you, especially if you want to become like one of the streamers out there. Um, yeah, overall looks that you guys can see from some of the you know B-roll footage I have. It just it looks awesome. Like you know, yes, you know the graphics card and the CPU aren't necessarily super RGB, but what I really wanted to build a system, especially since I was building this for somebody. 
I want to make something that would last. Now obviously you can't get a GPU and a CPU that lasts forever, but you do got to get something that will still hold the, you know, st still hold some value. And I think that definitely the most value is in this case, and the power supply and things like that, because those are things that really don't go out of date, but they do have a lot of ability to last through a long time. So this, this case and stuff, I have a feeling will last for a long time um, for my boy Kaden. But um, as for everything else, uh, this is pretty much just the, the gaming PC. Also keep in mind, that in the we'll just go over some of the requirements that I had, because I've gotten a lot of, you know, toxic people going, you know, $600, why don't you have a 1060 in there? Well, first of all, if you're focusing on something more of longevity, um, this is basically was designed to be something that had the ability to stream, that was for uh, gaming, but also had the ability to upgrade in the future. Because what I really wanted to do in this system is a lot of people go out and they'll get something like, hey, do an i i3, I'll get eight gigabytes of RAM and a 1060. Okay, and it might be a 580, a Radeon 580. What reason why I chose these parts on this system is simply because a 20 or 2600 basically serves as a great streaming option but not only that but it really is one of those few processors out there right now that has the ability to go up and above and beyond in the sense of cores because you won't get that in an i3 you're looking at something that's practically triple an i3 within reason and you get something that still has the performance power and all that stuff and also it looks great now obviously there's a lot of different things i could have done but the looking great was important having a wi-fi adapter was important um, making sure that there was enough storage was important. A lot of these things that were kind of important to make sure that I didn't, there was a lot of small things that really, you know, were important to make sure that I got met those first rather than having a super fancy graphics card. Because a graphics card can be upgraded, especially when you're talking about 1050. It can always be upgraded down the line, uh, later, used later down the line, rather than, you know, the processor, which is, yes, also something you could upgrade later down the line, but I like this sense that you don't have to touch that. All you have to do if you want to upgrade the graphics card, you put more RAM in the system, is just a simple plug and play away. So that's pretty much my only complaints there. But, you know, this for 2,000 subscribers, I just want to say thank you for everybody that's watched this far. If you did, of course, give the video a thumbs up. Um, I'll be including a link to all the different parts and stuff down in the description, so if you would like to go out and see what I did or maybe buy any of those, uh, of course, you can go down there for that as well. I'll also um, be, you know, recording some different shots you should be able to see over this video. And, um, yeah, honestly, I am really happy with how it turned out. Looks, It looks really good. It plays games well, and I have no problems there. But thank you very much for watching. Thank you for 2,000 subscribers. And I hope we get to build a couple more of these systems because I did enjoy that. It's a nice little thing to do. And as always, thank you very much for watching.